the space man. I'm a space man. I'm recording. I'm recording. Oh, damn it. Let's talk. What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video, sorry for the intro, I couldn't help myself because my mind is flying somewhere in the space and not just because today UK revealed the song Spaceman from Sunrider. I knew the song from before because they sent it probably as a benchmark in before and you know the rumors were spreading. Nothing is coincidental I would say but it's okay to do it this way like if you're doing internally and you want to do a great work and you want to succeed you just do whatever you can to succeed and what's the change of the approach UK? Like that's what I was waiting for my whole Eurovision career and that's very short career but as I know fans there were waiting for much much longer and finally I see that you're taking it super seriously or maybe you were taking it seriously it just didn't work but now I see the big five country and basically all of those big five countries this year is taking it seriously but this is the seriousness among serious and you have the winning contender and I'm no kidding like first of all Sam Ryer he's the hell of a singer he's original in his voice, he's original in his expression, he's original in his music and as well he has so much quality like both singer as a singer and both as an artist and as well the song which is like it's blowing my mind like yes this is what we need we need strong UK at Eurovision every single year whether it's choosing internally whether it's choosing uh, by national selection, which I will always prefer and the reason is that I want to have six, seven, eight songwriters on the national selection, you know, to show that the UK has lots to offer and we all know that it has lots to offer, but of course, like, enough is enough, there's never enough, but thank you for this because it as well said, and I know it as a producer when I was searching songs for Czech national selection and Czech internal selection. A lot of artists, they were saying like, why should we take it seriously? Of course we see that you take it seriously, but why should we take Eurovision as a serious contest when UK really doesn't care and it's just a funny contest for them? This era probably ends, I really hope it ends and it's not just the, you know, one hit wonder. I really hope so because this song is awesome and this song is awesome for many many reasons and I mentioned some of them it's a voice it's the melody it's this indie popish thing you know in it which makes it different as well it's the reminiscence of Elton John kind of in it which I love it I love this atmosphere it's a hit this is a hit we were probably waiting for this is the hit Eurovision needs like we have Italian hit but it's specific it's great it's awesome it's specific we have Serbia which is as well very specific and very different we also have the Netherlands which as well goes a different path but I think this one this one is universal above them all and I'm not sure if it's a winning song definitely it's top 10 it's top 5 song I would say it's top 5 song like honestly if this is not a top 5 song I don't understand anything but that's definitely in my personal top five, maybe top three. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. This is absolutely fantastic in all the ways <laughs> regarding the music video, which has these nice humor in it. That's that's what I what I like. But of course, everything depends on the live performance and how it will be done. But some writer he can sing. He can sing. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the best result for the UK in a decade or how, how long they weren't in the left side of the you know of the of the scoreboard anyway this as well means and this is absolute proof that this is not about hating UK at all this is about expectations for country of the big five with the UK music industry to send this every year. It took very long, but I really hope this is going to be the step which we use as a standard for UK. And the standard will be that top 10 is something granted because then of course we will all feel that as well UK deserve to be automatically in the finals. 
and this song come on come on this is mind-blowing i love it i'm obsessed with it i'm completely addicted to this song i i'm completely addicted to its vibe to this energy which is which is makes me feel happy all time long all time long it's not a sad song it's like a heartwarming song with all of its flaws this is the song which will like you know the rest of my family the friends which hate eurovision it's everyone because it talks to everyone it's not specific to eurovision it's specific to what good music should be it's radio friendly it's a concert friendly it's headphones friendly it's you know watching youtube friendly it's it's everything and that's as well the review of me it's like five from five ten from ten like whatever you want whatever you want you sold me the song you sold me your soul and i believe that on the stage it's going to be even better because that's just don't imagine some kind it's crazy but you know do whatever you want i don't care because if the music and the sound will be like this you made it, UK. You made it, BBC. You made it, Lee. I know you would one day. And uh, I'm really glad for you. So, yeah, that was a bit sentimental. Anyway, congratulations, UK, again. But tell me in the comments below what you think, because I know that some people, they just don't like such kind of music or whatever. I don't understand them, but I really would like to discuss with them as well. You have a space in the comments below. Of course, I really wish that you're gonna subscribe the channel and watch my rest of other videos and watch me on my other social media and whatever and whatever. But there's more important thing than that is to help Ukraine. Please do, please don't forget about those people. They need your help. They need you to push your government to do more and more for them. It's crazy. That's crazy. And we need to stand, we need to stand together against the terror and the way how we can do it is not just to push our governments, but as well to help these poor people. In the links in the description below, you can do more, you can find more links, how you can help. Of course, you can add whatever you want because there are plenty of ways how you can do it. Just please do something. That's it. And that's it from me from now as well. So thank you for watching, guys, and see you soon. Bye.